Hi, welcome to Lessons with John. Uh, today we're going to try By the Time I Get to Phoenix by uh, Glenn Campbell. Okay, our Carly, this one goes out to you. She asked for it. All right, um, be careful what you ask for. <laughs> Uh, you might get it. So uh, we're going to put capo third fret for this one, okay? Um, lots of lots of jazzy chords in this one to learn, okay? We need a D major 7. We're going to cover the 3, 2, and 1st strings and uh, use our open 4th string. If you hit the open 5th string, uh, it's fine. Uh, you want to uh, kill that 6th string, uh, okay, on that chord. Uh, then you're going to need a G major 7. There's many different ways you could play this chord. Um, I'm going to play it like this. Uh, this is uh, one of the simpler ways to play it. Uh, first string, second fret, and then I'm going to put my middle finger all the way to the sixth string, third fret, okay? And I'm just going to mute the fifth string and everybody else will be open. Okay? And it sounds, sounds pretty good for the song. Uh, you can do it like this, but then you're missing the bass underneath unless you... I guess you could do it like that if you really want to torture yourself, but uh, most of you probably won't want to do that. So uh, I'm going to skip that one. But if you, you know, leave some comments if you really like to know what that chord is, I'll show it to you. All right, uh, E minor, nice easy chord, uh, fifth string and fourth string second fret. Everybody rings. Uh, A7, fourth string second fret, second string second fret. That's an A7. F sharp minor, bar the second fret. Uh, fifth string and fourth string out here. Uh, what's that? One, two, three, fourth fret. Okay. You're going to need a B minor with F sharp in the bass. So it's just a B minor. You, you bar the whole second fret. That's the F sharp underneath. Uh, B minor slash F sharp means F sharp's in the bass. That's what slash chords are. They're telling you uh, the root isn't in the bass. It's something else. So we're going to bar the whole second fret and then the second string third fret, my middle finger, and then 4th and 3rd string at the 4th fret. Okay, that's a big B minor chord. E minor slash F sharp. Alright, and then you're going to need an E minor 7. And let's see the one I'm going to choose. I'm going to do an E minor, just like I told you. But I'm going to add the 2nd string 3rd fret. Like that. A little jazzy. And then you need a C chord, which is the 5th string 3rd fret. 4th string 2nd. And then the 2nd string 1st fret. <coughs> okay, excuse me. Okay, you're going to need an F sharp 7. You're going to bar the whole 2nd fret, 3rd string, 3rd uh, fret, and then the 5th string, 4th fret. Okay, <clears throat> then you're going to need the dreaded B chord, okay? 5th uh, string, 2nd fret, then you're going to lay your 3rd finger down on 4, 3, and 2. You're going to end up muting the 1st string and hopefully the 6th string with the tip of your finger. <clears throat> As you get better, you'll be able to do those things. Uh, it sounds pretty good when I play it, but it didn't for a long time, okay? Okay, this is the outro of the song. Uh, the next song you're going to need is a B minor, uh, no, sorry, nix that, a B9 sus4, okay? You're barring the whole second fret except for the sixth string. You, you're muting that with the tip of your finger, but you're barring everybody else, okay? So that's actually pretty easy. Uh, so you're coming from the B chord. Okay, and back and forth. All right, so those are all the chords I believe that you're going to need. Uh, so sorry about that. Lots of chords. What are you going to do? And you would think with the capo it would make it easier, right? You should try it without the capo. All right. Our intro, uh, our strum pattern is just our generic strum. Down, down, up, up, down, up. Okay? If you don't know how to do that, check out Wagon Wheel, the video on that. It shows you how to do it in slow motion and stuff. Okay, so D major 7 and G major 7. You just go back and forth. So. And that's it. That's it for your intro, okay? Then uh, by the time he gets to Phoenix, is E minor for 2 to D major 7. Back to the E minor. To the D major 7. One pattern on G major 7, to an A7, to an F sharp minor, to the B minor with the F sharp in the bass, E minor, E minor 7, to a C, to an A7. Okay, that's your first two verses, just do that. 
Okay, so verse 1, by the time he gets to Phoenix, and then the second verse is by the time he gets to Albuquerque. So he's, he's leaving her, man. So uh, let me play it through. I won't blab this time. I'll just play it through, okay? Is, uh, by the time he gets to Oklahoma, okay? Uh, so I don't know where he started out from, but who knows? Anyway, uh, so that third verse, it, it's about this, it's pretty much the same until you get to that last line, and then it, it turns it, so, you know, that's, that's where it changes. All right, any questions, comments below? Please subscribe, all that stuff. Thanks for watching, uh, and uh, play more guitar. <laughs>